To graduate from my high school, each student was required to complete a senior project. For mine, me and a friend decided to kayak the Colorado River 300 miles from Austin, Texas to the Gulf of Mexico. It was to take around two weeks and require us camping out on the river. We started planning and figuring out how far we would go each day, where we would sleep, and necessary things to bring along with us. We also took test runs on the lakes around Austin so we would know what to expect. For food, we used freeze-dried food from REI and ramen noodles that both could be heated up in boiling water. All our clothes and supplies were then packed into dry bags that were attached to our boats. We started off in Bastrop, just downriver from Austin, early on a Thursday morning. We set off battling winds and slow moving water. It's the first day of our trip. We're a little south of Bastrop, where we launched in Tahitian Village. Uh, it's a good day. It was pretty cloudy when we got here and started this morning, and now it's clearing up. The and first day, we made it to camp at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. For the rest of the day, we sat around camp in 100 degree heat, not having much to do. We realized that trying to get to camp every day as quick as possible was a bad idea. The next morning we ate and set off. From then on we slowed down our pace of paddling and enjoyed the scenery we went through. At times we would get bored and tired but we kept thinking how we may never be able to do something like this again and needed to enjoy it. At nights we made campfires and listened to the water flowing by. Whenever we got overwhelmed with how far we had to go we would think about just taking one day at a time and knowing we would eventually get there. During the days we spent our time fishing when we got tired of paddling. Finally, the day came when we were to make it to the coast. Last day, last stretch, we just pushed off from our last campsite. We got 16 miles to go, wind's behind us. It's a pretty calm day. We're going for it. The last six miles were straight into the ocean and the horizon could be seen at the end. That was probably the hardest stretch of the whole trip, but our motivation of finishing drove us to keep going. The best feeling I've ever had was making it into the waves and knowing I had completed what I had set out to do without quitting.